Last up, we head to the high school where there was something nutty and fluffy going on recently. What? <laughs> BBM Fluff. So the Fluff Festival is going to be tomorrow, and we make these sandwiches as a way for fundraising. And a lot of us go on field trips, so we're trying to go to DC, the orchestra. Is this enough peanut butter? Uh, just put like a lot. That's all I gotta say. Okay. 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 Uh, last year we went to took a trip to Nashville to participate in a choral tournament, a choral festival. I mean, uh, a couple years ago we went to Washington DC to for the same tournament, and yeah, that kind of thing. The orchestra and the band have also taken trips outside of the state, and those funds, um, those costs are not you know, paid for through the school committee. So we do fundraisers like this in order to help cover our expenses. <laughs> I went to the Fluff Factory yesterday in Lynn, the Durkee Mower Factory, um, to get the fluff for the sandwiches. They're wonderful people. We also use Teddy peanut butter from Everett's. And our bread came from a market basket from, from Arthur T. Just keep going. Five, five, and nine, one, one, three, two, four, five. Now support some of the high school music basically, you know? And to be able to sing in front of like the world with other schools from other states, not even just Boston, Massachusetts, but it's from like California, Nashville, New York, from all over, it's gorgeous. Around $5,000 were raised at the Fluffernutter Sandwich event. These funds will go to the band, orchestra, and choir for field trips to competitions. Reporting for Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Elijah Kaplan. Believe it or not, 2,500 sandwiches didn't raise quite enough money. About 80% of the kids need financial aid for the trips. If you want to sponsor a young musician, contact the music department at the Somerville High School. <laughs> 